Um, I'm going to be all over the internet with no internet wig on. Look at that. Talk about growth. This blog blogging thing, you guys, is not the thing to do when you just wake up because I can't form a sentence to save my life. Mm. I'm so tired. So today I'm going to be bringing you guys one of those kind of day in the life videos, but from a psychic perspective, from a psychic medium's perspective. So what a day looks like when I'm, I'm working as a spiritual teacher, what a day looks like when I'm actually working as a psychic, as a psychic medium, as a professional psychic, and kind of what that entails and, and what I do. So... Um, and then my plan or my goal for this is to show you more of an authentic experience, more of an authentic, like, I feel like there's so much mysticism when you hear the word psychic that should not be there. And I feel like I want to sort of demystify the mystery, so to speak, and give you guys sort of a better down to earth, more grounded understanding of what that means and what that looks like when you're actually manifesting it and putting something like that into action. <sighs> I can't even, I can't gather words. Maybe I should just talk with my mouth, my mouth closed. My eyes closed. My eyes closed. I think this is easier. One hour later. Last week, this time, I present, I participated, I can't talk at all. I participated in something called a New Talent Psychic Fair. Um, in the city of Atlanta, there are a few psychic fairs that either run quarterly or run once a month. This particular psychic fair that I'm talking about is the longest running psychic fair in the city of Atlanta. Every once in a while, maybe one or once or twice a year, they do intake for new talent. And because the roster of sort of reoccurring psychics that they have is getting slim. And it could be for a number of reasons. Maybe these people want to move on. Maybe these people have moved on and they died. So you go and then there's there's your, your new talent and it may be about 10 or so new talent psychics and you go work a new talent psychic fair. People come to see you and the prices are discounted but the reason why the price prices are discounted is because you're there to be evaluated so normally customers members of the public come and they see psychics and what happens is after you give readings or you work with the client you then give them an evaluation form and it has i think 10 questions on it and maybe i should tell you i should tell you what the questions are that's content right okay hold on wait Wait. All right. Uh, I should tell you. I should tell you. Mm. Ten questions. Was sensitive to you and your feelings. Listen to what you were saying. Was knowledgeable and self-assured. Delivered the information in an understandable way. Conducted themselves in a professional manner. Professional appearance. Would you see this psychic again? And would you recommend this psychic to a reader? And so out of all the days and all of the clients, chicken on my food. Um, ah, you gotta get a 90% or higher. So they average all of your scores together. And if you don't get a 90% or higher, or for some reason it shows that you're not bookable, meaning people, the light is terrible. Meaning, the people are not really interested. This blogging thing, you guys, is not the thing to do when you wait, just wake up because I can't form a sentence to save my life. <sighs> I may have to do this again. I'm gonna try this again now that I've got my super suit on and we have done a light beat and a wig. So now I'm up and I ate breakfast. So, psychic fair. 
So yeah, so kind of like what that day looks like. So I wake up and I try to get myself together. I don't take any phone calls that day. I don't answer any text messages before I go in because I don't want somebody's energy to affect my energy. And I don't want somebody, I don't want to accidentally give somebody the window to start being negative or saying negative things because this is like my spiritual self, this is my healing self and I need to be capable. And if I get bombarded with this energy too fast, it'll mess me up and then I have to recalibrate later and I don't have time for that. So, um, and then I eat breakfast. I have to have a solid breakfast because it is a lot of energies that you're dealing with. 16 clients in a day is a lot of people. And those are just my clients. Those aren't other psychic clients. And so that doesn't account for the amount of people that actually walk through there and the amount of energies that are being exchanged. Now what I'm doing is kind of packing my psychic bag. So, which is so funny, I never thought I would actually say that, but there is a, a psychic bag, so to speak. Um, and I just kind of go through everything to make sure that I'm not missing anything or that everything I needed was replaced or maybe I wanted to switch out my crystals or, or whatever, right? So right now in my psychic bag is Clorox and then hand sanitizer because it's those times. That's one thing, always make sure to bring my own pen. I gotta bring a bottle of water because it's a lot of talking. By the time I get to the end of the day, my voice is so hoarse, I don't actually have a voice at that point. Um, always have a notebook to jot, down, jot things down. Um, you always have to have things to write on post-it notes. Sometimes I write little notes and I give them to the clients. So just a thing to have for that. Um, I don't have business cards, um, so I just kind of jot down my email if people want to reach out to me, and they usually do, so that's pretty nice. Okay, so then I make sure I have the decks that I want to bring, so I'm bringing a Kipper deck with me, and I find Kipper decks, for me anyway, are really good for like yes, no questions, or either or questions. Um, I've got um, two sets of oracle cards that I bring with me, so one that is the angel gods and goddesses, and then one that is the Gaia Oracle, both by Tony Carmichael, and I just put them in this pouch. And I do that just to save room and um, alleviate weight because I gotta bring everything with me. And then I have my crystal pouch, and um, this particular crystal pouch has selenite in it. Um, and then something told me to pair it with Labradorite today, so I'm following spirit. That is what I'm going to be doing. And then I've got another bag here, and then in this particular bag has my traditional Rider weight that I bring with me. That's a tarot deck that I actually bring and use with me for clients. And then I also have some aura spray for myself and some anointing oil for myself, um, both from the Witch's Moon box actually, but both help with sort of like that psychic sense and like your intuitive abilities. So I bring that with me. Then I always bring an empty pouch with me just in case I pick something up on the way. Um, you never know, people may give you something. Um, and then a tarot cloth. So this is my tarot cloth. Um, it's a, uh, a yard from Hobby Lobby, it cost $5. So at the Psychic Fair, you're kind of, you're responsible, understandably, for your own setup and your own table. They don't give you cloths or anything like that, so you kind of have to make sure you've got everything that you want or everything that you need. How do I fold this? Now there's already five people that are on my roster, so I start at 12 o'clock on the dot today. I've got a client at 12 o'clock, so I just have to make sure that I get there and that I'm on time. When you get there and, and you start, all the psychics and the readers that are there that day, before you open the doors or we open the doors, we actually come together in a circle and we sort of call in the white light, get rid of energies that we don't want to present, um, and do the whole guru thing. So I usually wear these. Uh, and then I usually wear a clear quartz as well. So I do like try, there's an element, um, I'm not gonna lie to you because I want this to be authentic, of trying, not trying, but there are, there is something, there is something called like a psychic dress code. Um, so if you've ever gone to a bookstore and you feel like people just look extra woo-woo, they're probably sort of playing to the aesthetic 
um, not because they're fraudulent, but because that's what you, the consumer, expect. So um, when I go, like you wear crystals and stuff to play up to the excited, because honestly, I can read in my underwear. I don't need all of this, but you do. Sometimes people can't receive a message unless they feel like you meet the the vision that they've created in their head about it. I do not wear these things on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm gonna be real honest with you guys. I do read these, I do wear them if I'm doing something spiritual. Um, but I'm wearing it specifically on this day because I know you guys love it. And I'm trying to appeal to my base. Safety first. Oh, okay. It's an hour from now. That gives me time to get there and find a good seat, honestly, because it is a kind of first come, first served. And there are sort of like different areas for psychics to sit. And some tables are bigger. And I like the big tables. <laughs> and um, and I like the real big, nice, comfy, squishy chairs. And so I like to get there about 30 minutes ahead of time so I can claim that stuff and then get comfortable, go to the bathroom if I have to go to the bathroom, organize my space, call on the white light, like whatever it is that I need to do. And so um, I try to be proactive. So yeah. Nope. Well, I finished my day at the Psychic Fair. It is now seven o'clock. So I went from 12 to seven. Well, that's not true. I, I work from 12 to 6.30. And today was actually a slow day. I think I had 12 or 13 customers. At this today. particular time, people were saying that they came because I was recommended or I had really, really, really uh, good reviews or somebody told them to come see me. And I just felt so kind of humbled and flattered that somebody was that touched by anything that I would have said that it would have prompted them to send somebody else my way. Um, I take that, there's, that's, that's such, I don't underestimate the amount of responsibility that I have to take when I'm doing this. People have a tendency to hang on your every word and then there are times when people's lives are in your hands and the decisions that they make in terms of what they wanna do with those lives are in your hands. And so I don't take that responsibility lightly. So for someone, for multiple people to recommend me and send more people my way is incredibly humbling, but also reassuring that I'm kind of fulfilling my life purpose, my soul's purpose. And and that's a really amazing feeling. It's, it's such an amazing um, experience. So money-wise, because people don't necessarily talk about that, I walked away with $130 today for six hours worth of work. Now, um, for 12, I wish it was either 12 or 13 clients, $130 for that many clients is nothing. For that amount of clients, for, the, for my normal rate that I go, um, we're looking at somewhere around seven-ish, 
maybe 700 800 dollars so it's a significant cut but you know it's one day out of the month and it's my way of giving back so it's the next day and i am exhausted it's one of those things where i get like these spiritual hangovers um whenever i'm dealing with that many people at one time it's just it's just a draining like it's like you have a cup that's full and then you pour it out and then it's empty and it's dry and then you gotta kind of like replenish the cup mentally i'm always fine like mentally i'm fine emotionally i'm fine i don't feel like compromised or anything like that but i can definitely feel the energetic shift in my body and after a day or two i'm like back to normal it's fine but it's a matter of sitting in a room all day dealing with really energetically dense people, dense emotions, and a dense environment. And the amount of work that it takes to constantly all day dispel those energies is taxing. 12 to maybe 1.30, I had three clients. Um, and then I had like an hour for my lunch. And then once I hit three o'clock, oh my gosh, it was all bets were off. I was just boom, 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 like in and out, in and out, in and out. And so I didn't really have time to show you guys any of that or what that actually that looks like. But yeah, that is a, a, a day, a psychic day. It's not my every day and I don't want it to look like or appear that it's my every day. I mean, I have other things that I do, okay? I am a busy woman outside of spirituality and so but this is how I give back this is my little something so yeah so um I don't really know what else to say